You know, a lot of the times, I think one of the major challenges as Christians is knowing where to find the right partner. Okay? I'm sure that is the case because we sometimes told or we are taught or advised that we must find a decent partner who is a Christian, fellow Christian and stuff. But at times, we struggle on realizing where do we find that person. You find that the people you come across... There are men who break your heart or women who break your heart or women who, you know, all these things or weirdly and stuff. But the question is, where do you find that right spouse? You know what I'm saying? Or someone who can most probably match your Christian lifestyle. And by the way, in this video, I'm going to explain you that. OK, my name is Ishmael. And if you're watching me for the first time and welcome to today's video. You are free to subscribe to this channel for more content like this, as well as remember to hit the notification bell on your right so you know every time I upload new videos like this. So listen, <clears throat> excuse me. Listen, listen, listen. I really want to talk here. I want to tell you something in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May he help you to really get to find the right partner. May you not struggle. May the Holy Spirit get to guide you in the name of Jesus Christ. So listen here, listen here. Something which I got to realize is a revelation from the Bible, you know. You can read the Bible for years or a certain scripture, but you'll be surprised that as much as you have read that scripture a thousand times, finally God gives you a revelation out of that scripture that you never had. Even for all those thousands of times you've been reading the very same scripture. In which I want to talk about how do you, where do you find the right partner? I'm sure now you're assuming that in church and stuff like that. Okay, but here I want to explain something. Listen, listen carefully to the very end, okay? I'm going to be using scriptures. I won't try to come up with my own understanding, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. I want to go to the book of Genesis and Revelation. And yes, in yeah, the book of Genesis. I don't know why I'm saying Revelation here. Chapter 24 with the case of Eliezer. You know, I like talking about this, but this is I'm going to say something different today. That is going to wow you a bit. Now, let's look at Eliezer. The Bible did teach us that when Abraham noticed that it was the right time to far go look uh, for, wise, for actually Isaac to find a wife, he asked his servant, Eliezer, to go look for that wife, search for a wife for the sake of Isaac. But listen, first of all, he didn't just uh, say go and look anywhere. No. And most of the time we get to wonder where do you find that right partner hallelujah we get to wonder on okay we want that christian we want to get married with someone who also loves the lord but we struggle with knowing where because the, even when we try sometimes we find people who don't really love us who are not serious but this is where i come in and this is what i want to talk about here i want you to understand something something very important it's very important to know where you are looking. Hallelujah. Each and every area in the world, it has its own kind of people. And when you go look for a wife in this area, most likely you will find somebody or a wife or a husband who is of this type of character. The chances of you finding that godly person, even if they are a Christian, you will find that somebody from that era, they are this type of Christians. They are this type of Christians who also uh, abuse alcohol. They are this type of Christians who compromise the word of God. They are this type of Christians who behave like this. And when you go to this area, this city, they are this type of Christians who are strict with the word of God. They are this type of Christians who obey marriage, who loves marriage, who honors marriage, to put it simple. So this way the difference comes. Listen to what Abraham said. He was like, around here, don't go to look for a wife for my son in this area where we're staying. I think he was in Canaan at the time. But he was like, go back to my hometown. And I think that was here. And that's when Abraham was called, I, I, according to my reasoning. When he was called in chapter 11 of Genesis. I think the Bible said he was called in from Haran. So that, I think that was his original. But he was like, go to where? To my place of birth. Why did Abraham suggest such a place? Because he knew 
he got he got to compare the character of women of Canaan and Haran. And he realized that you know what? Yeah, these women, most of them are wicked, or people of this place are wicked. But where I come from, you find decent women. That's no wonder it makes sense when some people be like people of these tribes of, of a good character. I remember this other man when I was in school. He was busy complimenting that you know what? If I had a daughter, did he have a daughter or something? But he was like, I would recommend that my daughter get married to someone of your tribe, referring to my tribe. He was like, most people of your tribes of your tribe are Christians and they are of a good kind. The Tsonga people. That's what he said. And according to our knowledge, that's the case, you know. But according to yeah, it's just that you cannot break your all yourself until people break. So, but I was so glad that you could notice because even in the school, we would realize majority of the people who are in the church serving are Tsonga people, people of my tribe. Then it was like, even for his daughter, he realizes he would be happy if she get married to people of our tribe. And according to our history, I think it did say in the Tsonga history that they found that those people of our tribe are peaceful. So... So that says something. That says something. So listen, for you to get married, it means you have to look at the right place. And that's where God comes in. Don't overlook that. That's why God knows that you have to look for a wife. You know what I'm saying? Even Abraham understood that principle, that we are searching for a wife now. God did not just instantly show, but we know he used wisdom as well as faith. Whereas some people will just sit around and they don't go look. They don't ask a woman out. The women, they don't avail themselves for the men to ask them out. But they still expect for to be married. Abraham understood that, okay, now I want to get married. But I still also need to put effort as much as the blessings of the Lord. Hence, Eliaza was able to pray about it and say, Lord, may you make my journey to be successful. And that is when he went to that land of where Abraham was born. And that is when he prayed that, the, of course, yet there are many women. That's why you find sometimes they will advise you that go into the, to the church and look. But sometimes it depends on what kind of a church it is. is it? That's why some people can meet someone at church, but find still, that, if I still find that it does not work out. Because that type of a Christian in that church... Most of them, they are wicked. Most of them, they compromise the word of God. So it is important to know in which church, in which place, in which area. And you go there and now you begin searching. And when you search, you still ask God, okay, there are many women here, Lord. There are many men around here. Who could be the one for me? I think it's even much easier for men. So as a woman, if you are from that area, you'll be like, Lord, may you may locate the right husband to me. May he come my way. Since you cannot approach a man. Most women like that are, are, are so. So you pray that God. Now make show me among all these women in this area. I know that there's a higher percentage that I will score a good one. But who is the most preferable in your eyes? Then that's when God shows you. Simple as that. You just have to go to the perfect area. When I look at my area right now, when I look at everywhere, as much as there are women, and I know there are many women who are interested in me, still, the suitable one of a good character is the, the, the difficult part here. Hence, at the end of the day, I get to realize that I'm supposed to just check at a place which is suitable. Sometimes I would be like, only if I was still in the university, there were times in which you will see that when you go to these services, it's full of Christian women, those in worship team, those who share the word of God. So it was easy. It would have been much easier to pick one woman of God and most of them, they are marriage minded. So, but when you are around here, when I'm home, is extremely difficult because majority you hardly see those devoted Christians. So what does this show? It also depends on where you are looking. But if the moment you should just ask God to reveal a place, because sometimes you can look and you don't see anything. But if God can show you a place, you begin 
go there, avail yourself, and then ask God to help you amongst all those people there, those women or those men, and God is going to help you. And allow me to wrap this video here. May God Almighty help you in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And I seal this prayer with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And for prayer requests and spiritual advices, DM me on my Instagram or email me. The details are in the description of the video below. And that's for me, Ishmael, and your priest. I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.